Prior to this release, there was no way to record a vendor refund payment in accounts payable. If a vendor sent you a refund check or deposited money into your bank account, the only way to process this would have been a journal entry. And of course, you cannot tie a journal entry to an AP vendor account. This has changed. In the 17.2 release, we now allow a manual or quick payment run invoice batch to process a manual check for a credit or a negative invoice entered for a vendor. Using this feature is simple. All you have to do is go to Accounts Payable and then Invoice Processing. Create a new batch for the credit and enter in your date of record and your batch reference as you normally would. Hit Add to add a new invoice to the batch and choose the supplier that sent you the refund. The invoice number you could always note as a credit with the invoice number or use the confirmation number from your maybe online banking deposit records. Enter in the purchase amount as a credit amount, so a negative, and then go ahead and distribute it to the GL account that you would normally enter in for this vendor. So maybe it's your cost of goods sold or the expense account that this vendor would normally hit. Save your invoice and then make sure that you've checked off manual slash quick payment run. In step two, the next tab, go ahead and check off that this is a manual check run and it has to be a manual check run since the invoice is a negative amount. And then you'll see if you go to step five that it doesn't say print checks, it says process checks. So GL wise, what will happen when you post this to the vendor account? What you'll see here is two entries going to your accounts payable a debit and a credit of the same amount, so it's a wash. Then you'll see the entry going to the expense account and the entry going to your bank. So it does not affect your payables. It won't sit in payables like a regular invoice would, but it allows you to keep track of that deposit or that refund from the vendor on the vendor's account and also make the appropriate GL postings. When you're ready, go ahead and go to step five, print checks. And the check number to use here, again, could be the confirmation number from your online banking, or maybe just a, a note that it is a credit. Click the button to process checks, and then go ahead and hit preview and post to post your batch and post the refund on the vendor's account. So you'll see here on the payment register, comes out like a regular cash disbursements audit, gives you the supplier name, gives you the payment ID as well as the credit amount, gives you a summary of what's happening in your general ledger accounts. You have the two AP wash, the cost of sales, and your bank. And then you'll see on the vendor inquiry, your credit will appear as a negative amount. So you always have record of that refund under that vendor's account.